a manufacturer has fixed cost of $150,000, production cost of $15 for each unit, product sales for $25 per unit. So the cost function is made up of a variable cost and a fixed cost. So my variable cost is 15 times X, 15 times each unit, plus that one time fixed cost of 150,000. Revenue. Revenue is X times P. So my revenue is X, the number of units, times the price of each one, which is 25, 25X. Now, what is the profit? Well, P of X is equal to revenue minus cost. My revenue is 25X minus parentheses because my cost function has got two terms, 15X plus 150,000. So that's going to be 25X minus 15x, I'm distributing that negative 1, minus 150,000. So my profit is going to be 10x, because 25 minus 15 is 10, 10x minus 150,000. All right, how much profit is realized when 10,000 units are produced? So what am I trying to find? I'm trying to find profit. And, oh, I wrote R up here. That should have been a P, sorry. So my profit is 10X minus 150,000. And let's look at something. Okay. And we're going to find how much profit is realized when 10,000 units, so I'm trying to find profit, 10,000 units, so P of 10,000, profit is a function of X number of units, that's 10 times 10,000, one, two, three, minus 150,000, so that's going to be, that's 100,000 minus 150,000, which is Oops, they're not making money yet. Negative 50,000. All right, find the break even. Break even is where revenue equals cost. My revenue equation was 25x, and my cost is, uh, hold on a second, let me erase that. My cost is, 15x plus 150,000. And if I, sell, if I solve for x, that gives me 10x when I combine my x's, equals 150,000. So x equals 15,000. So at 15,000 units is when they reach break even. And that's if I want to figure out what the revenue is at that point, it would be R of 15,000. I could plug it in the cost as well, it doesn't matter. It's just easier. 25 times 15,000, which is 375,000. He said find the break even point. So that's why I found the X. And the corresponding Y, which happens to be total revenue at 15,000 units.